Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. Well folks, uh, this past week Mother Nature has decided to loosen its grip on us a little bit and decrease the heat, especially over the weekend. A pretty nice weekend all in all. Some areas had to deal with some storms, but that's what you get in the latter part of uh, July, early August, this uh, around here at this time of year. So. Uh, guys had some decent success out there and uh, coming away with some nice fish and mainly how they're uh, catching them is a lot of guys are pulling plugs and if they're not pulling plugs they're pulling bottom bouncers with spinners and then also guys are throwing swim baits into the weed edge again as I mentioned a couple of weeks ago weeds and more weeds that has been the trick of late and some of the lakes that have been producing some nice fish continue up in the northeast uh, to be uh, bitter uh, Wabe, those two lakes seem to be doing the best right now. Uh, Indian Springs, a lot of nicer fish coming out of there, but again, you have to work pretty hard. And again, key, weeds. The other lakes uh, can include uh, Enemy Swim, Opens, as well as uh, the Dry Lakes. And then uh, down the southeastern part of the state, uh, the lakes continue to do well. Uh, include uh, 81 ponds, but the access is getting a little bit tougher there with the weed edge uh, around there, as uh, a lot of people are aware of. And then otherwise, uh, Ponset, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, uh, Thompson. And then also Sinai and East and West Oakwood have been producing quite a few fish of late uh, as well. Uh, a few walleyes are being caught at Sinai as well as Madison and then also Twin. And again, the key has been the weeds and pulling the spinners with crawlers or pulling plugs as I mentioned earlier. As far as the panfish bite is concerned, a lot of guys are catching crappies at uh, Vermilion, Pickerel, uh, Reeds, uh, a few at Thompson and also Sinai as well as Ponson. If you get into the, the crops at Ponson, they've been really, really nice. And then as far as the perch bite is concerned, uh, Big Stone continues to be the lake uh, of choice as far as perch is concerned. Ponson, Thompson, nicer perch there but not as many. And then also Twin and then Indian Springs. And what have guys been using? Uh, as far as bait is concerned, wax worms and then small middles. And then as far as lures are concerned, any light ice fishing jig has worked well. On this week's version of Todd's Tackle Tips, we're going to talk about line. There's three main uh, line types uh, on the market right now, and we're talking about uh, uh, monofilament, fluorocarbon, as well as braided line. The two most popular continue to be monofilament and braid. And when we're talking about monofilament, uh, really the advantage of the monofilament is that uh, the stretch capability, especially if you like uh, playing the fish, it's going to be a little bit more forgiving. The bad thing about it is the stretch. A lot of people don't like it, especially if you're jigging in deeper water. And that also will have a little bit more memory on the spool uh, compared to uh, a braided line. And that's an advantage that braided line has. It's gonna have low memory. It's gonna be uh, a lot stronger. You're gonna have a small diameter uh, line compared to the comparable monofilament, meaning a 15 pound uh, test strength of fire line is gonna be five pound diameter of monofilament. So you can get a lot more line onto that spool. Also, some companies have made uh, braided lines that are made specifically for casting, and that's what uh, Suffix has done this year with the Nano Braid. It's a great line for spinning reels, especially if you like to do a lot of casting. So folks, if you have any questions about the different types of line, feel free to stop by here at the store or give us a call at 605-336-9132. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me, send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into the monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. Well folks, before we end this week's report, I want to leave you with a couple of things. First off, as I mentioned last week, leech season has come to a close. Uh, it's nearly impossible for us to come up with live leeches, but if on the outside chance we do, we'll let you know, of course. But uh, I think it's now, it's, it's really time to start thinking towards artificial leeches if you're wanting to use the leech. Second of all, if I want to remind you of our rod sale on rods and combos, 20% off sticker price. Stop on by here at the store and check out a great selection that remains that is on sale. So stop on by here at the store at 1120 East Benson Road, or if you have any questions, give us a call at 605. 336-9132. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on! Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Take care.